Whatever it is, it can wait an hour. No, Lionel, can't wait. All right, then make it fast. Something Minx did, you said. Well, come on, man, spit it out. No, no, th there's a better way. I want you to come with me. I can't come with you. Can't you see I'm involved with something with Sophia? This has got to do with her, too, and with something that Minx has been keeping from all of us. All right, Brick, you want to go somewhere and talk? Let's go. Gazebo, Sergeant Kelly. I've been hired to guard Mr. Capwell. Who are you? I'm Mrs. Capwell, his wife. Well, you'll have to leave, Mrs. Capwell. Nobody's allowed in here without permission. Well, whose permission? Mason Capwell's. That is ridiculous. I'm visiting with my husband. Now get out of here. Look, I take my orders from Mr. Capwell. Now, I'd appreciate it if you leave without putting up a fuss. I wouldn't want to have to use force. All right. Where's Mason? Well, he said he'd be right back. Look, why don't you wait outside, when he comes back, you can talk it over with him. Oh, I'm going to do a whole lot more than talk it over with him. I can't believe he would let's do this. Let's go, Mrs. Capwell. You come let on, let's go. go of me. I'm going to make you a promise, and you can hold me to it. You'll be looking for a new job before the day's out. Mother. Mother, don't get up. Don't get up. Brick has something that he wants I, to tell I, I, I have an engagement. This will be short and sweet, Minx. But I don't want you to miss this. Lionel? Yes. Rick, don't. I'm your son. Did you hear what I said, Lionel? I'm I heard you. I just have no idea what you're talking about. Rick, don't. I'm don't. your son by Sophia. Mother. <laughs> no, no. What the hell are you raving about? Are you trying to get back to us for what Augusta did to you? Is that it? I said I'm your son what? by Sophia. What do you know about this, Mother? What, what, what? Do you know anything about this? Come on, Lionel. You know it was crazy? Why do you think she brought me here in the first place? Gave me all that power. I she treated me like I was part of the family. Rick, I don't know. I have never Well, think known. about it. Do you think she liked the color of my eyes? I thought maybe she had something on Augusta. I don't know. Augusta knows better than that. Nobody's been ever been able to make Minx do anything that she didn't want to do. What do you think? I'm some kid off the streets? I'm her grandson, your son. That can't be, Rick. That can't be, because Sophia and I... You had, had me! I'm not... I'm, you didn't have Channing, you had me. You have lost your mind. Channing was a child of a couple of circus performers named what? Wallace. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Now, you say something, Max. Just say something. Tell me. Tell me that what he's saying is not true. Come on, tell him. She can't. Because she knows it's true. She knows it better than anybody else in this world. Mother. Look at me. Mrs. Armani. Mr. Kaplan said you can stand with his father as long as you like. Thank you very much.
Mason, that guard you hired to protect CC, he just kicked me out of the room and he let Sophia walk right in. Good. Then I hired the right man. Excuse I must me. insist upon seeing my husband. Um, take a break, Tom. I'll handle this. Permission denied. Mason, I just want to sit down and hold his hand for a few minutes. The guard? Good heavens, I knew you were a fast worker, Gina. I had no idea. It is totally unfair that you're the only one who can decide who can visit CC. Gina, there's been a coup in the house and I'm heading the new junta. I've de declared a, uh, a state of emergency to protect my father because he's in danger. Well, it's not for me. Someone went into his room and someone removed his oxygen mask. Well, it wasn't me, Mason. That someone knew his vital signs were improving and doesn't want him to get better. Well, why don't you talk to Eden? Because she's the one who busted in there, locked herself in and stood there with him. Why don't you accuse her of it? I'm not accusing anybody, Gina. I'm just trying to protect my father from further assault. Well, obviously, you, you don't see any threat from Sophia. Obviously. Why do you take every opportunity to insult and humiliate me, Mason? I don't have anyone in this whole house that'll stick up for me. You made your own bed, Gina. Or beds, as the case may be. I have had just about enough of you. If you don't let me see him, I'm going to get a court order. Permission denied. Here you go, Thomas. Enjoy. Thank you. What are you looking at? Sit on it. Kelly? Kelly? I found your note. What's wrong? Don't, I'm scared. I am sure Nick knows about us. Why? What did he say? He just senses something, and I can tell it upsets him. I, I know he knows. Look, even if he thinks that there is something... Be was something between us, there is no way he knows about Santa Rosa unless we told him. Just the way he looks at me, he looks at me as if he's upset that I'd lie to him and like he'll never be able to forgive me again. Dylan, I don't know what to say to him. I don't know what to do. I just, I feel so, I feel dirty. Kelly, maybe you're just imagining No, I'm else. not imagining it. Dylan, I'm afraid I'm going to lose him. Look, you're not going to lose him, not unless you're the one that wants out. I don't want out. You know I don't. I want him to believe in me again. I want him to look at me the way he used to. No, with time. That's right. If I'm honest with him now. Kelly, you're not thinking about telling him, yes, are you? Yes, I am. That's all I can do, Dylan. That's the only thing you can do if you want to lose him for good. Nick wouldn't be able to take it. I can't go on like this anymore, Dylan. I can't. You don't have to. There's a way out. What? It's not for publication yet. But it's the only thing left to do, and, and all I have to do is do it. Why can't you tell me, Dylan? Because you'll find out soon enough. I've got a split. I'll see you later. Dylan, what... Get out of my way. Seems to me you're the one who's in your own way. What do you want, Mason? To help. You'll let me. What are you doing here, eavesdropping? I don't have to overhear anything to know you're in trouble. I'm not in trouble. Kelly, if you need a friend to talk to... Oh, a to, friend? You? Yeah, I'd like to be one. You ought to give me a try. I've mellowed. There's nothing I want to talk to you about. Kelly, I care about you. I don't want to see you make a big mistake. Now, I think you've found something good with Nick. I'm not sure you should throw it away for Dylan. Don't say another word, Mason, because you don't know what you're talking about. You never struck me as the kind of person who'd lie to herself, Kelly. Is that you want something from me? Is that it? Is that why you're so interested in my life all of a sudden? When did you get so cynical? I've always been interested in your life. Only when it fits in with your schemes. What is it you're after this time, Mason? You don't have to attack me to defend yourself. I'm not attacking you, but I will if I stick around. Well, you're your mother's daughter, aren't you? You're behaving exactly the way she did when she was your age. Carrying on with two men and lying to both of them. Didn't you learn anything from her mistakes? I can't believe you're talking to me like this. I don't know why I bother the way you've been treating me. But you're still my little sister. And you're still the same bully you were when we were kids. Yeah, but Nick's a nice guy, and he deserves your honesty at least. Now, if you don't love him, or you don't want him, let him go. But don't play him off against his own brother. Oh, don't you talk to me about who's honest and playing people off. You are the most dishonest, conniving person I've ever known. 
I am, that doesn't change what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. I've seen the way you look at Dylan. Look, I love Nick, and I'm going to marry him. Others have noticed it, too. And, and I'm not carrying on with Dylan or anybody else. And Nick is going to notice eventually. That's what I'm afraid of. And you should be, too, if you care about him as much as you say you do. I get it now. You're planning to blackmail me. What? Y you're going to take this story to Nick. And if I don't do anything or say what you want me to. What could you possibly have that I want? My vote on the board of Capwell Enterprises. You need it to get control of the company, Mason. <sighs> well, I, I should have known I couldn't fool you, Kelly. Okay, well, you know what, Mason? I'm not going to change my vote. So you can go tell Nick whatever you want to. You're that sure of him? No. I'm that sure of you. Sure that you don't have the guts to do it. I know you better than you know yourself, Mason. You may want Eden out, but you wouldn't hurt me that badly. You wouldn't, would you? Is your son. Brick is, is your son. How did he end up with Wallace's mother? B by chance. What the hell does that mean? They had a baby boy the same time Sophia had her baby. What, what, what are you saying? That that Mrs. Wallace, when she left the hospital, that she accidentally picked up the wrong baby and went out with it unnoticed? Is that what you say? It was no accident. You switched the babies? I did it so your son wouldn't be raised by the Capwells. Hated the Capwells that much? Yes, oh yes, yes, yes. And so did you. That's why you kept after Sophia. I didn't do that out of hate. I loved her, mother. I loved Sophia. I, I just don't understand. I, I don't understand how you could have kept this from me for, for 26 years. I can't. I can't grasp why you, why, you, why you didn't tell me this before. Now, you, you kept track of Rick, you, you, you brought him back here, you made him part of our lives, but still you didn't tell me. Why, Mother? Why didn't you tell your own son? I mean, you've been angry with me for years. I, I know that. I, I, I was away, I came back, and I, I, I know that I haven't been... Financially responsible, I lost that beachfront property, yeah. I, I mean, the list of my shortcomings is endless. But still, you summoned him back and began to turn over to him everything. What, what were you doing? I mean, were you, I don't know, biding your time while you tra transferred power from me to him little by little? And when you felt that he could manage well enough on his own, you were going to just... Toss the whole thing to him? Is that why you brought him back here, Mother? I mean, why you kept from telling me all these years? No, 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 no. I was looking after your son. Everything I did was for you. For me? I don't understand. I don't understand what you're talking about. You did. You were looking out for yourself. You were going to set him up. 
over me and my children. You are that perverse. You thought that he would be grateful, obviously, that he would do whatever you wanted him to do. That no. He, yes! Yes! You thought that Brick would knuckle under, that he would want to hang around, listen to more of your lies. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't blame him for leaving because you underestimated him just the way that you have underestimated me, my dear mother. The one thing I, I really would like to know, though, is were you ever, ever going to tell him that he was the chosen? Are we just going to let him live in the dark like the rest of us? Like me? Do you have any idea of the harm that you have done to my family and to Sophia? Oh, my God, Sophia. I've got to tell her. No, Lila, don't, don't, don't drag anyone into this. Not even Sophia. Listen to you. Listen to you, Mother. You are still trying to manipulate people's lives. No, but what good would it do to tell her now? It's best to keep this secret. To hell with your secrets, Minx. Don't ever, ever keep another secret from me as long as you live. Because I'm never going to forgive you for this one. I'm staking my life on your forgiveness, Cece. That when you get well, you'll forgive me. And you'll still love me. But oh, God, please, oh, please, let it be soon. I'm so afraid. I guess I'm afraid of myself, mostly. I feel, I feel so needy, and I know what I need. I need your love, and I need your strength. But it's so hard being alone. There are times, there are times when I'm afraid that when you wake up that you won't forgive me and you won't love me and you'll hate me. And when I think that, all I want to do is run. All I want to do is run to a safe place and to a person who's there waiting for me and who still cares for me. Now that isn't something, that isn't something that I want. But when I'm frightened, I don't know if I'm strong enough not to do that. So, I need you so much. Is she here? Who? Sophia. I, Where is she? I have no idea. Look, I, she got a call about Cece. She came over here. Maybe she's at the guest house. I already went there, Mason. She's not there. Well, perhaps she went out again. Well, uh, come right in, Lionel. Sophia! Have you seen Rick Wallace? Have you heard from him? No, I haven't. Perhaps what you need is a social secretary, Lionel. Is she upstairs? Lionel, do us all a favor and stay away from Sophia. Mason, I am going to search every room in this house if I have to. I revise my suggestion. You need to keep her. Why don't you let go of me, Lionel? Where is she? Lionel, maybe I should call Augusta. Is she the responsible party? Mason! You have three minutes to tell me where she is now. Tell Lionel! I told you I don't know. Lionel, come back here. Lionel, you have no right to be in this house. Lionel! Is this Cece's room? Yes, sir, but you can't go in there, sir. Keep him out of there, yes, Tom. Sir. Lionel, Lionel will you listen, listen to me? What? Please, what's going Yeah, I've got to talk to you. Sophia, are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Has Brick been here? No, Brick Has he told been... you anything? No. Let's talk out in the hall, please. This is... Sophia, I don't want to talk to you. Come with me, please. You want me to stop him? No, just let him go, Tom. He's on. I'm going to check on Cecil. I'm sorry, sir. You can't go in there. Not without the permission from Mr. Capwell. Mason. Not a chance, Kirk. Keep that door locked from now on, Tom. Yes, sir. Nick? I've been in the dark room all morning.
What do you think? cause to rejoice because our son is alive our son what Sophia Rick is our son what are you saying what are you talking about uh, I'm, I'm trying to tell you that many years ago you kept a secret from me a secret that Channing was my son. Well, it seems that Minx kept her own secret for all these years. Yeah, and just as closely guarded. You see, another baby was born in that hospital at the same time as ours. And that baby was named Wallace. Rick's parents. And it drove my mother so crazy thinking that some baby of ours would grow up with the name of Capwell in the Capwell home. That I, this is so hard for me because I have just, I've just heard about it myself. I can't say that she would rather have had that child dead, but I can say that she wanted it to be somebody else. So when that baby went home from the hospital, my mother had switched the babies beforehand. My God. Yeah. Channing was their son, and Brick is ours. What the? Yeah. I'm sorry. Our son was taken home by the Wallaces, and apparently he grew up with them. With Katie Wallace is his mother. They were in the circus, went on the road. He was nicknamed Brick, and his real grandmother, Minx Lockridge, eventually brought him back here to Santa Barbara. And the Wallaces, the Wallaces had your child, and their child grew up in your house as Channing Kemp. Are you, are you saying to me that my Channing is not my son? Channing was my son. I love Channing. Oh, Sophia, I, I... I know. I understand. I'm sure that Katie Wallace must love Brick just as much. At least the truth is that now that son of yours is alive. He belongs to us both again. Is this true? Now, wait a minute, Lon. Is this absolutely true? It is true. Brick found out about the switch, and Minx admitted it. What do we do? I don't know what else to do except try to help Brick in some way. I mean, you can imagine how angry he must be at all of us for this. He knows? Yeah. He knows? How does he feel? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to prepare my own children for this. God knows how they're going to react. Warren doesn't even like him. But Rick is a very good man. A very good man. I can just... I don't know. I just wonder if he'll ever be able to think of me as his father. I... I just see. I, I mean, I should see. I, I should, I'm afraid. I, I'm afraid. Hey, hey, I... hey, listen. Why don't you call? Call him. I'm sure he's still at the Orient Express. And I'll leave the room, okay? Come on. Here's the phone. What did you think of him? 
I think they're very good photographs. I never realized how many pictures I've taken of you two, together and separately. And me either. The one at the oil well of you two turned out beautifully, didn't it? Yeah. This one of you uh, getting out of the plane in San Francisco and the one getting off when we landed here. Great shots. Good-looking couple. Dylan and I aren't a couple, Nick. Sorry, you know what I mean. No, I don't. And I don't know why you went to all the trouble of digging this out. It could be the beginning of a new book. The subject is eyes. What about them? I took a picture once. Remember, it's the one of the sister giving some soup to her brother. And you told me that their entire life and all their feelings could be seen in their eyes. Do you remember that, Kelly? Yes. You were right about that. The eyes do tell everything. But the trick is in being able to see what they say. And I'm having a little trouble with these. I, I'm seeing things here that puzzle me. What things? Well, in Dylan's eyes, a secret. I guess, something very deep. And in your eyes, there is an uneasiness about something. I, I don't know. Am I right, Kelly? Sweetheart, can you trust me enough to tell me what's bothering you? I really need to get some air, I think. I just, I'll... You, you want sorry. me to go with you? No, I wouldn't be very good company. I won't be long, though. May I come in? Yeah. <clears throat> I just wanted to come by and say goodbye to the both of you. I'm, I'm leaving town. Where are you going? Don't know where yet. Just how? By train. I never imagined you choosing not to fly. Well, I want to see the miles go by one by one. Wherever I end up, I, I don't want to get there too fast. Mm -hmm. What about the casino? Sam's going to take over. He's been in it from the start. His name's on the papers. He'll do fine. Oh, I'm sure he will. About the money I owe you, I don't want you to worry about it. I'm going to be sending it to you. I'm getting a cut from Sam. If that's what you want to do. It is. <clears throat> uh, I'd better be going. Take care, both of you. Dylan, wait. <clears throat> You're my brother. Me too, Nick. Hello, this is uh, Brick Wallace. Hello, is anybody there? It's Sophia. I just heard the truth, and I want to talk to you. I can't talk to you about this on the phone. Uh, okay. Where? So I think we should go to someplace private. There's a, a gazebo on the Capwell property. Yeah, I, I've uh, seen it. Would that be all right? Uh, sure. What, what time? If it's all right with you, I would think later to 8 o'clock. I need a little time to try to put things together. Fine. At least have the decency to face me and admit that you stole my son. Lionel's son. Yes, Lionel's son. Sit down, Minx. You're not going anywhere until I have a talk with you.
26 years ago, Lionel made a decision to stay with Augusta. When he made that decision, he had no longer any say in my life, and neither did you. The child I was carrying was my responsibility. And I married C.C. Capwell, and I gave that child his name. Without bothering to tell him or Lionel about the child. That is none of your business. It wasn't then, and it isn't now. He's my grandson. He's my son, and I was doing what I thought was right for him. And so was I. You stole him. You stole him from his mother. You stole him, and you gave him to strangers. You changed his life forever. If you don't realize even now what a horrendous thing you've done, then you are a woman of no conscience and no morality. <laughs> You tell me I have no morality. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I dare to tell you that because what I did was out of love. What you did was out of absolute hatred. You hated the Capwells and you played God with two, two children's lives. You have had your way for 26 years. But now I have my son back. And if I have my way going to keep him away from you. Remember this, Sophia. It's because of me that your son is still alive. Nick? Yeah? There's something I'd like you to explain to me. Mm-hmm. What is it? Why didn't you try and stop Dylan from going away? You know, I wanted to ask you the same thing. Me? Why, why should I have stopped him? Well, if you don't know, then I guess I don't know either. I asked you a simple question. Well, not so simple. I'm sure that he's done what he thinks is best for himself. Why are you so cold? Well, I don't mean to be. I've been apart from my brother for many years now. I never expected to be close to him anyway. But I don't want to stand in his way. I'm sure if he feels he should move on to a better place. That's not it. That's not what's going on. No, then what is it? Why don't you tell me what you want to hear? The truth. Well, I'm not as certain about the truth as you seem to be. So suppose you tell me what you think it is. I think you're jealous of him. Now, what reason would I have to be jealous of I Dylan? I think you've always been jealous of him. Oh, well, let me get on the couch right here, doctor, so you can finish my analysis. I just don't see why you let your brother walk out of your life He like is that. a grown man, Kelly. He walked out on you, too. It's not the same thing. You're right. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing at all. I'm sorry. I know I'm not making a lot of sense lately. Me either, I guess. I need to go for a drive. Yeah. You need to get out a lot lately, don't you? You're right, I do. To old times. Old times. Even though I thought there would be a lot more of them... Who says there can't be? As soon as you get the casino going, you can join me. Sure, where? Uh, wh where are you even going? Wherever. <laughs> Man, don't you ever get tired of going wherever? Uh -uh. Well, I know I do. You know, to be honest with you, I think that last bout with Carlo, I think it did me in. You know, the idea of staying in one spot seems to be pretty terrific right about now. I give you a year. A year? Mm -hmm. Hey, I thought the tug of gravity was pulling at you as well. I thought you liked it here. Mm -hmm. No more. All right, who is she? What? The woman? The reason why you're leaving? No, I told you the reason I why I'm... I know what you told me. You're getting us confused. You're the one who falls in love at the drop of a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say that the ladies have kept me on the move. Mm -hmm. You know, I have split from some of the most incredible places in the world. Places that... I could have passed for the rest of the days of my life and 
peaceful and dignified pursuits <laughs> till some woman or the other burnt my soul and made me run from alive. <laughs> what makes you think that's not going to happen here, pal? Nah. Soul's been burnt to a crisp. Heart's been mashed into a pulp. Mm. There's nothing left for me to fall in love with. Sounds like we're in the same lousy shape. Not over Janice, man. No, not over Janice. It's Kelly, isn't it, Don? Want me to miss my train? Yeah. Let's go, Sam. to my lawyer. Ma'am? He's drawing up papers. You see, he's going to show them to a judge, and he's assured me that by tomorrow morning, well, Mason will be put in his place. Legally, anyway. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, you see, I'll be making all the decisions as to what goes on in this house. I'm Cece's lawful wife, and in the eyes of the court, well, a wife is more important than the son's. You see, so, uh, everything's up to me. I'll be making all the decisions here from now on. You won't have a job after tomorrow unless... I decide to keep you on. Well, we'll see what happens. I'd like to go see my husband for a few minutes right now. I'm sorry, ma'am, but until you're my boss, you still have to get permission from Mr. Capwell. What's your name? Tom. Tom, you are a great guard. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I do my best. I have one little problem. I was wondering if you could help me with it. I've got my zipper stuck, and my maid is gone for the day, and... Well, there's no one to help me, and I can't get in or out of this thing. Where's, uh, the zipper? Could you please zip me up? Well, okay, I'm not, a. It's I'm right. not too good at this sort of thing. Go ahead, give it a try. Well, your hands are even warm. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, go ahead, I'm sure you can. Hey, what's going on here? I should have known you'd pull something like this. Pull what? You're coming on to him. Mason, you're mistaken. This man got fresh with me. <laughs> Can you believe her, Tom? Well, I, uh, she... Yes, what? we'll have to compare notes sometime. Shut up, Mason. Tom, I'll, uh, keep watch for the rest of the night. Why don't you go, uh, take a cold shower and come back tomorrow morning? Okay, Mr. Capwell. Well, that means I'm off duty now. I think I have a headache. Tom, go get some rest. It's all right now, Dad. You're safe. I guess if I've uh, learned anything from all of this, that blood isn't thicker than water. I don't care how many babies are switched. My mother is Katie Wallace. She's made me into who I am. I'm very proud of my name. So I don't need the Lockridges. I don't need Lionel. I don't need you. Please, I'd like you both to stay out of my life. May I ask you a question? Go ahead. If this is the way you feel, why did you tell us at all? Why didn't you just keep it a secret like Minx wanted? I hate secrets. They have a way of not staying a secret. 
Somehow they always seem to surface and cause trouble, no, no matter how hard people try to keep them down. And I had to know the truth. So did you and Lionel and everybody else concerned. Guess now we just have to figure out a way how to face it and live with it. Brick, is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything that, that you need from Lionel, from me? Not a thing. Actually, there is something. There is something that I want. I, I, I just don't know what it is yet. Brick. Bye. 